Are you ready for another grain to glass video? Grain to glass, if you're new to home brewing or the home brewing brew tube society, means that you get to see the brew day and you, yeah, we also try the, the beer in the end. I did a fresh hop pilsner picked my hops from my garden at the brew day and I used all of it. It was a brew day from hell. So I'm going to talk about what to think about how to calculate for using fresh hop instead of dry hop and uh, why it was a brew day from hell. And uh, yeah, of course, after seeing the brewing footage, we're going to come back and taste the beer. Let's get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. If you want to learn with me how to come better at beer and brewing, possibly, consider becoming a subscriber and to hit that little bell to get notifications by putting out a new video. Of course, smash the like button. And as usual, if you're just here to troll, don't forget to smash that dislike button twice for double the impact. With that said, let's get brewing.
Brewday from hell. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. Means why we taste the beer. I'm going to try to go through some sort of recipe because when stuff fails, it ain't the same recipe. And me getting sick and tired of doing stupid things and experiments on this channel, but I ain't stopping. <laughs> I ain't stopping. Let's pour the beer. Beer porn. Pouring porn. So it's a split batch also. This was fermented with Saflager W3470. But if you want to see the split batch result, uh, I will link to that video down below. It was the uh, USO5. Can you do a Pilsner with USO5? Of course you can't. But you can still do a great beer. Is it the right beer? Yes, it's the right beer. I need to get some order in my teaser. Do you like watching people pouring the beer? Does it do it for you? Comment down below. Don't be so aggressive, doctor. It's just, it's just, it's just beer. First off, it ain't that dark. I will sort it. Basically, the most light are shining on me and don't get reflected back. What if? So simple. That, this is a card we're using for video and photo. This is for white balancing. It's so simple. Why am I so stupid when it's so simple? Just use a white piece of paper. This is middle gray, but yeah, 18% gray. So there you better see the, the color. It's that simple. Stop talking. Let's give it a nose. Some lemony, a small hint of lemony notes, some breadiness, grains. Overall, it's a light touch of like lemon and lime. Cheers. Beautiful. Clean, crisp. Love the uh, amount of bitterness. Yes makes the, the mouth salivate. You want to go in back in for more. This is just low ABV beer. 3.9% only, but you can't really feel that. Is it like the best pills I ever had? No, maybe not, but it's really, really nice. To run through, through the recipe and talk about the brew day from hell. The recipe is already up on my Patreon page in the Big Dr. Hans recipe book. A 60 liter batch, 10 kilos of Pilsner malt and one kilo of Munich. So about 91% Pilsner malt and 9% of Munich. Brewmaster Pilsner as castle malting Munich light. And for hops, I used 1,780 grams of fresh hops. When you're using fresh hops, they, they weigh a lot more. Growing hops a couple of seasons, I found out that you should really like divide um, the amount of fresh hops by an amount of four to five times. And as has been raining the other day, I divided by five. So in the recipe, it says, 356 grams of hops, but as you saw in the video, there was a ton of hops. I don't have a big hop spider like that, so I thought, why don't we just try to use the grain basket as a hop spider. My fear was that we can have boil overs from the outside, and of course we did. So have boiling on the outside of the, the grain pipe and not in the middle with all of those hops. I basically steeped the hops for 30 minutes. My idea was to boil the hops for 30 minutes, but I, I 
more or less steep the, the hops for 30 minutes. And then I had to pull out the grain pipe with the hops and I did another 30 minutes of a boil. It was a longer boil, but most of the period it was like a 90 minute boil, but most of the period was actually 30 minutes. So if you should try to, if you try to replicate this, can't see why, you should like boil the wort for 30 minutes, then steep for 30 minutes uh, the hops and then remove the hops and boil for another 30 minutes. Don't try this at home. I do this kind of shit here, this crazy experiment, so you don't have to. So yeah, please like at least the, the video and also become a subscriber. And of course, it's Patreon channel members and just buy me a beer. All links down below. <sighs> Sorry, back to the topic. It was a really long brew day because of that and uh, yeah, massive boil over to clean up and uh, I don't think I got the, the, the hop utilization that I should. But as always with home brewing, relax. This is an extraordinary good beer. Clean, crispy, fermented with W3470. If you want, as I said, I have the use of fire version also. Both were fermented on an OG's kick. That worked beautifully. You should really try that out. Uh, I did that, like this long term experiment where I over and over and over and over did it for a full year. You can check that video out. As long as the beer that last fermented is fine, you're okay to put just put new wort on there. Try it out. Mash temperature 63 Celsius did a uh, for 60 minutes, did a mash out. This was fermented at 17 Celsius to start with, but under pressure, and I ended it at 23 Celsius. Uh, pressure 35 psi or 2.4 bars. Calculating IBUs when using fresh hops ain't possible. You don't know the alpha acid of that hops, of course, percentage. So I just placed myself like in the middle of that hop variety and uh, it has always worked out so far. So just try to brew with it and see what happens. You will learn from your mistakes as usual when home brewing and that's part of the enjoyment with doing this. If you found this video helpful, enjoying, amusing or whatever, consider supporting. It's a lot of work goes into these videos. I have Patreon, channel members or if you just want to buy me a beer, all links down below. Of course, if you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber, do hit that little bell to get notifications. Smash the like button. Cheers and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.